بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله It's very strange how some people can become annoyed when hearing discussions and dawa that begins with Tawheedillah. It's strange. And it shows how deep our hawa, our desires, and the deception of the shaitan has deluded us to such an extent that we begin to see Tawheed as shirk. Kufr as Iman and Bid'ah as Sunnah. This shows Ahabatifillah the state of our affairs and why we need to rectify our affairs. Because no matter what social ills we face and diseases of the heart that consume us and infect us and infect our body politic. Tawheedillah haqqan is our salvation. As an ummah and as individuals. And I'm not saying just that we need to know the categories of Tawheed in an ilmi way, in a very theoretical way, la abadan. But I'm saying that we need to understand Tawheed truly and act upon it in our lives. Understand it. Give it its right. Give Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala his right. How could there be any success without giving Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala his right? This is the right mentioned by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is what he Salawatu Rabbi wa Salamu Alayhi mentioned. That this is the haqq of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was riding on a donkey with Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala and He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Mu'adh Ya Mu'adh Atadri ma haqq Allah al ibadi Wa ma haqq al ibadi ala Allah Mu'adh said Allah wa Rasulu wa alam so the Prophet ﷺ was riding on a donkey, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala and, and he said, Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon his slave and the right of the slave upon Allah? Mu'adh, showing the humility of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. He said, Allah and his messenger know best. But look, when we make false claims about our da'wah and we say we don't need to talk about Tawheed anymore, we know it. Brother, I don't follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu because I don't believe in hadith. I only follow the Qur'an. When we show that we are deficient and we negate the true call, we're negating what the Prophet said. We're contradicting what the Prophet said. 
when he said to Mu'adh, he said, Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haqqallah li badi. Yo Mu'adh, Ya Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon a slave? And Mu'adh said, Allah wa Rasulu alam. He said, haqqallah li badi. And ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bi shayim. The right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships Allah alone and doesn't associate a partners with him. That is the haqq of Allah. That is tawheedillah. How is there anything greater than that? He didn't say, Ya Mu'adh, in the future you need to free Philistine. And I'm not saying we don't need to free Philistine. And I'm not saying we don't need to love and make dua for our brothers. And I'm not saying, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying. What I am saying is, is that the success with all of that, if you find and you go amongst the ranks of the people who claim for all of these newly political, these new political strategies, and new means to raise the Ummah through nationalism and patriotism and partisanship, Hezbiya, that you'll find that Tawheed is either belittled or is totally absent in their call. And you'll find that their success or the lack thereof is because of the lack of Tawheed. Because the masses have gotten away from true Tawheedillah and true Ta'atillah, obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us to be obedient. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So this is what we see, Ahabatu Billah. This is an important observation. Because if we go to the Nasus and we don't go to our desires and say, well, Shaykh so-and-so said, uh, you know, that we really need to focus on what the leaders did. And another one said that we need to look at what the leaders are not doing. And another one said, we need to focus on making takfir of them. And a, th a fourth one said that our political party, based on our national Syrian alliance, or we need to help the Syrian refugees, but forget all the others. And we need to help these people, and forget these people. We see that those calls contradict. If we go as an ummah, and we come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and come back to Tawheedillah, Ta'deemillah, by being obedient to Him, Ta'atillah, then we'll have success. What's the delil? Let's go back to that hadith. So He said, Haqqallah li badin ya'buduhu in la yushriku bi shayin. He said, the right of Allah is that you worship Him alone, Him and Him alone, and do not associate partners. Look at that. That means you worship. That means you're actually doing these acts of obedience. You don't just have it in your name. Your name is Muhammad. Your name is Mustafa. Your name is Fatima. Your name is whatever. But yet you don't practice your Islam at all. When you see another Muslim, you refuse to give salams. You refuse to wear hijab. You refuse to pray in the masjid. You refuse to leave the sins. How can you have the success of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And how is that actualized in Tawheed? And then the Prophet ﷺ said, He said, So then the Prophet ﷺ, he said that the right of the one who worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone is that he, that he, does not that he does not uh, that that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not punish him if he worships him and him alone. Have a haq, have a haq alibadi. Likewise, a habitat billah under all of the nasus, all of the nasus that tell us that the, that the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is first and foremost. And that it is encompassing of everything else. Call us subhanahu wa ta'ala we can have it kareem. I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Letting us know our ultimate purpose is the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Doesn't mean we forget social ill. Doesn't mean we forget these problems and occupations and oppression. No, no, that's not what it means. But it means deal with it Islamically. Deal with it through Tawheed. Rectify yourself so you can have the rectification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you can have his dream. وَلَقَدْ بَأَثْنَ فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ رُسُولًا إِنْ نَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ Which is turning to Jabul. And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things 
worship beside him. So why is it that we go to the graves and ask for them? Why is it that we can only worship Allah through our shares? Why is it that we refuse to seek knowledge ourselves and raise our condition and practice that knowledge? Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Karim, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُ إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ بِالْوَالِدَيْنِ يَسْتَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and your Lord has legislated for you. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُ إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ So your Lord has legislated for you that you worship only Him and Him alone and do not associate any partners with him and be righteous to your parents letting us know obedience to your parents is a part of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's your success so Allah is calling us to Tawheed to worship him and him alone this is what he is most pleased with and this is his right subhanahu wa ta'ala as is mentioned in the hadith of Mu'ad radiallahu ta'ala that we mentioned so Ahabatib Billah, I encourage myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam to come back to the book and the sunnah and come back to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and avoid any and all forms of shirk. That means learning and understanding Tawheed and practicing. And that means learning what shirk is and avoiding it. Which study mutaqoot and avoid those things worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, celebrating non-Islamic holidays, uh, <coughs> immersing your kids in all kind of corporate and shirk and making it available to them and then you wonder why they left Islam. You wonder why Fatima used to wear a hijab and proud and now she's in a miniskirt and tatted up with tattoos with several boyfriends and babies out of wedlock. We wonder but it's because one of the reasons is we have really strayed from practicing Islam Kamen. Understanding Tawheed and practicing it and implementing it in our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all, bless us all with the proper tarbiyah, bless the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, raise us up from the ashes and the disgrace that we have disgraced ourselves with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, ala humani salaka hubbuk, wa hubba man ya hubbuk, wa hubba li kulli amalin, wa allah ni hubbuk, وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد